by the New World Order. Oh, you didn't know? You ready? Let's go! Are you ready? Gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, my name is Big Daddy Cool Vinny Apicella, and we are here live on the Sports Wire. That's right, folks, we are here from the Sports Wire studios right here in New Britain, Connecticut. And that's right, I am Big Daddy Cool Vinny Apicella, and we've got quite a bit of a jam packed show for you today. Well, first off, we do want to thank our sponsors. We want to thank uh, M&J Video Games and First Base Sports Cars in both Mer uh, in both Wallingford and Southington, Connecticut. We also want to thank Sister Sue's Homemade Jams and Jellies. They are from West Virginia. Uh, check them out on Facebook. Also, Wayne Jones of Black Lion Entertainment Music Group. And uh, Jerry Wilson from It's So Real Productions. And then last but certainly not least, Dean Wild's own Stay Blessed Productions. Uh, they are our sponsors. And all the ways that you can listen to the Sports Wire. You could follow us, first of all, on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Sportswire CT. Also, Facebook.com slash CT Panthers Football. Which is the, obviously Connecticut Panthers uh, Football. Uh, Facebook.com slash uh, Fat Cat Radio Enterprise. Also, www.swe-ct.com. And Facebook and uh, www.myfatcatradio.com. Also, you could check us out on uh, Twitter, SoundCloud, Instagram, Foursquare, Pinterest, uh, Tout, Tumblr, and that is at SWE Connecticut. And use the hashtag Vinistry to get in touch with us. As well, you could check us out on YouTube, which we are streaming live. You can check us out on YouTube, on uh, Skype, and Google+. Plus. It is Sportswire SWE. So there's quite a few ways. Also, you can go over to iTunes, go over to the podcast page, and then you click, you uh, search for Sportswire, look for our Flame logo, which is right down there that you are looking at if you're watching YouTube. Right there, yep. Uh, and then you can just subscribe to it, and that's all you got to do. And then every new episode of the sports wire and every new game of the Connecticut Panthers will be delivered directly to your listening apparatus be it iPhone iPhone iPad iPod or just anything that has iTunes on it which means your computer and you can just listen to the sports wire all day long uh, or at bedtime whatever your way is uh, we got a lot to talk about today obviously we're going to go over this Sunday's NEFL Divisional round matchup between the Connecticut Chiefs and the Connecticut Panthers. Uh, they will be uh, facing off yet again. It's a rematch from two weeks ago. They will be at Falcon Field in Meriden, Connecticut, this coming Sunday, October. That, yeah, October 11th, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. We will be live on the sports. We will be live on Fat Cat Radio starting around. Uh, 6, 6.15 with a pregame show with myself and Lenny Murdo doing the pregame. And we're, we are waiting on word about who's going to be singing the national anthem at that game. I've heard rumors it might be Miss Team Southington USA. Uh, but I don't know yet. I'm waiting on the confirmation. Uh, but I don't want to release any names out. As, as soon as I find out, I will... Let it go on Facebook and let everybody know. Okay, uh, so back to uh, we also have some we also have uh, 
the review, and we're going to go over NXT res TakeOver Respect from last night. Um, it was an awesome show. I actually stayed up till 2 a.m. watching it uh, because I had to wait. I had to watch it on tape delay. But you know what? Either way, it was great. Also, we uh, I'm going to go over uh, the uh, Major League Baseball playoffs. The wild card games have been played. The playoff matchups have been set. And unfortunately, the Yankees are not there. Uh, so we're going to... Uh, we're going to talk about that as well. Uh, you know, folks, I do want to, uh, first of all, say thank you. Thank you to everybody that's been listening or watching the SportsWire and downloading the uh, shows. Um, I know I might have pissed some people off um, or upset some people when I go on my rants and raves. and You know, and I, and I talk real. The fact is, is I prefer to talk real. Um, I, I, I firmly believe that we're not going to end up, uh, getting anywhere in this country without talking real. Uh, that, that is specifically why I prefer and I, why I am voting for Donald Trump for, uh, the presidency in 2016. He tells it like it is, you know, he, he basically, he's going to end up do what he has to do to help us, you know, get out of debt, number one, and number two, make America great again. We've had too many career politicians in the White House, and that's where it has to stop, okay? Everybody, you know, the nostalgia of having President Obama be elected in 2008 and uh, becoming the first African-American president. Okay, the nostalgia has gone. It has left. We are not going to have a female president yet. Uh, Hillary Clinton is nowhere near the capable of running the presidency. Yes, she'll, she's been there before. Uh, with uh, Obviously, with President Clinton, you know, she was the first lady. She was doing a lot of stuff. I agree that she would do an okay job. But... I don't think that people want a nostalgia president in there again to screw up this country even more. That's my opinion. And my, uh, exactly, that's my opinion. All right, the fact of the matter is this. Uh, and I will put it right up there. Make America great again. Don't just hope for a change. Vote for it. Trump 2016. You know, I've been saying it for ever since he announced that he was going for presidency that I would be voting for him and I firmly and officially endorse Donald Trump for president in 2016 uh, just by his just by what he wants to the, the fact that he's willing to talk about what people are thinking but don't want to say okay many people okay many people don't want to talk about the the rash of illegal immigrants in this country okay no, many people don't want to piss people off they want to be politically correct first of all this whole political correctness is bullshit and i will say that straight to your face Pol politic become being politically correct is bullshit and i'm not saying that because you know i feel slighted or whatever number one People get offended too much and too quickly and too easily these days, okay? I don't specifically, I, I, I don't care. If, if somebody says something about me, okay, I'm full Italian, okay, and they call me a guinea or, or, or some kind of Italian slang, you know what? It's words, okay? It's words. You know, I understand kids get upset with words and stuff and, and, and oh gosh, you can't say anything bad about you know, homosexuals because, you know, it'll be considered bullying. First of all, grow a thick skin. Okay? I under I, Now, I'm not advocating hate here, so don't don't get me wrong and don't uh don't uh mis mis uh understand what I'm talking about. I am not advocating hate one bit. Okay? The fact of the matter is this. People need to be real nowadays. 
Okay, they need to be able to say, you know what? I'm against same-sex marriage. Okay? I don't feel it's right for a man and a man to get married, considering in the Bible it says marriage is between a male and a female, a man and a woman. Okay? Without being thought of as a bigot, without being thought of as a judgmental. Okay? That's what I believe. The woman in, what was it, Kentucky, Alabama, wherever it was down south, that got arrested and put in jail for 30 days, the, the, the court clerk. Okay, here's the deal. I applaud her for standing up for what she believes. Okay? Now, granted, in the Bible it also says we have to follow the law of the land. There are people who think the Bible is fictitious, which they're idiots, <laughs> quite honestly. Um, and, and I will say that. I feel that people who are atheists, are just, you know, fools. But again, that's not my place to judge. They feel what they they want to believe that there's no God. Let them explain. Let them explain the, the how how we all came about. Because actually, science has proven. Okay, you want to be scientific, you can be scientific all you want, but science has proven the the fact that there is an existence of God of a higher power. Okay. I don't feel, you know, something's been circulating around Facebook and about uh, the, 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 I don't even know what they're called, the bashikis or whatever, the, the hoods, the, the, the facial coverings that Muslim women wear, okay? They want us to embrace their culture. They come over here and live and they want us to embrace their culture. Absolutely not, okay? That's the reason why we have so many terrorist attacks, because we buckle. Okay, we're not a strong nation anymore. We buckle under pressure. First, it's the fact that we don't have English as a, as a, as a uh, national language. We we allow people who speak Spanish or people who speak other languages too. It's not just Spanish, but to stay here and live here and not learn English. Okay, we allow that to happen. If you want to speak in your native tongue in your house, that's fine. But when you go out in public. You speak English. Okay, there are many times. Now, I work in a hotel, and, you know, people obviously visit from other countries. There is a, it is very difficult when people are speaking different languages. Now, that's the, now that's the career I'm in. Okay, I, I, I'm not, uh, I, I'm not coming down on people for speaking different languages because they live in other countries. But if I, if I chose at one point to move to Rome, you're damn right I would learn Italian and speak in Italian because that's where I am. Okay? If I'm, you know, for people coming over to America, you speak English. End of discussion. There should be no press one for English, two for Spanish, three for Portuguese, th third, uh, you know. No. You speak English. Okay? That's the first thing that America buckled to. The second thing America buckled to was this whole influx of of other religions, okay, when America was founded, all right, when they signed the Declaration of Independence, okay, yes, there is a freedom of religion, that means you are free to practice your religion without judgment, without uh, being persecuted, okay, that's all well and good, unfortunately, the idea behind that was to allow people to obviously feel free to worship whatever they, way they wanted to, or not worship, whatever religion they felt they wanted to, uh, they felt they wanted to embrace, okay, and, 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 you know, and practice, okay? Now, Christians are getting persecuted for believing in Christ. They, you know, I just saw that they were taking the Ten Commandments out of a government, uh, off the grounds of a government building in, in one state. That's absolutely ridiculous, okay? They're taking God out of our schools. And then they wonder why there's so many school shootings. Um, but that's only partly to blame. But the fact of the matter is this, okay? Quite honestly, all right, America was founded on Puritan Christian principles, because it was the pilgrims that came, obviously came over here. Now, I'm not saying that Columbus, 
you know, I'm not getting that whole debate about the Native Americans and the Columbus or whatever. The land was here. Native Americans were here first. Do I agree with what we did to the Native Americans? Absolutely not. But do I do I necessarily under you know, do I say that the Native Americans should be running this country? No, I don't. Okay, there's a time and a place for that. The fact of the matter is this. Native, the America was kind of colonized by the pilgrims, by the Puritans, okay? And it was a Christian country, colonies, you know, under, under Eng England at the beginning. But the fact of the matter is, after that, when it turned into the actual United States of America, it became a Christian country. Now, does that mean that everybody in the country has to be Christian? No. But, does that mean that we have to cater to other religions? No, it does not. Okay? We should not be worrying about what Joe Schmo thinks if he's, uh, you know, if he's an atheist. You deal with it. You practice what you want to practice, but you deal with it the fact the country is still founded under Christian principles. Okay? If you're Muhammad Hassan, and I'm just using an old WWE name, Okay, and you're a Muslim, or you're Islamic, does that mean we have to buckle to you and, and, and recognize that Muhammad is your, you know, or Allah is your God, which is still God, okay, but they don't recognize Jesus Christ for whatever reasons, whatever, but recognize that Muhammad, no, absolutely not. The fact that you don't believe in Christianity is your problem, or your choice, okay? So, the fact of the matter is this. All right, this country was still founded on Christian principles. Should we be buckling to these other religions and other you know, factions? Absolutely freaking not, okay? And that's basically what I'm going to tell you, is that we should not be, okay? Should we have same-sex marriage in this country? That's a very touchy subject, okay? I have friends that are homosexuals, that are gay, that are lesbians. Would I ever say that they can't be with who they want to love? No. But in terms of marriage, no, I don't feel they should be married. Okay, end of discussion. Um, the fact of the matter is, marriage is clearly, clearly, clearly defined in the Bible as between a man and a woman. Okay? And yeah, I'm going to piss people off by saying that. It's unfortunate, but true. Okay? Should the Bible be taken literally word for word? You know what? It is a God-inspired work that has been breathed through the, the words of prophets and apostles. So the fact of the matter is, should it necessarily be taken word for word? I don't know. Okay? And obviously, that, that you know, written 2,000 years ago or more, uh translations all the time, you know, maybe it shouldn't be taken word for word, but the fact of the matter is that it's still a guidebook for how life should be lived, in my opinion, all right, I'm a Christian, does that mean that I think that masturbation is wrong, you know what, I think that science and uh, religion have a breaking point, and sometimes you have to worry about science a little bit more, okay, I've, uh, you know, after learning what I've learned by doctors and everything, masturbation is obviously healthy for you. Uh, you know, and of course, um, of course, you know, uh, the churches are going to tell you, oh, it's impurity or whatever. Well, you know what? That I can live with. And again, I'm not trying to pick and choose what I believe out of the Bible. Okay? Unfortunately, there's nothing saying there, you know what? Let me let me backtrack a little bit. There's a debate going on whether or not um, whether or not there is homosexuality is nurture or nature, whether it's in your genes or if it's something that's learned. I, I I'm not a genealogist. I'm not a, a scientist. I can't say yes or no on that. What I can say is this. You can't help who you're attracted to. You can't help who you love, other than if it's family. And even even some family members you don't have to love. Okay? 
Um, I don't necessarily agree with homosexuality, but you know what? If that's the way you want to live your life, that's the way you want to live, live your life. Why, how am I going to judge somebody for sinning differently than I sin? End of discussion. Jesus Christ came down here to save everybody and to take away all your future sins, past, present, and future, when he died on the cross. Um, I will leave that as it is. And do I necessarily, you know, if you want to live your life that way, go right ahead. Who am I to judge? Um, I feel it's not right for same-sex marriage, but you know what? Obviously, this, obviously, you know, other people feel differently. Like I said, you can't help who you're attracted to. You can't help, help who you love. Okay? But does that mean, you know, you if you want to live your life, I would, I would better say that you're sacrificing marriage. But it's not for me to say. Okay, well, folks, I mean, we're going to get to our, next, our first song of the day. All right, this is going to be our good buddy Twism White Piece. Okay, he is a host. We're, uh, we're going to end up having um, an interview with him probably at some point soon. Um, we're going to be doing a joint interview on my show and on his show uh, at some point soon. And, uh, well... Uh, stay tuned for it. I'll let you know when that's going to be. But here's our first song. It's going to be our good buddy Twizzle White piece right here on the Sports Wire. Here's Do You Remember. This one's dedicated to the one. I still remember. Do you? They say it's better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all. Do you remember? All of the kisses, the hugs, the moments that we were totally intoxicated with love. Do you remember? All of the promises, the memories, have you forgotten all of them that easily? I'm sitting here stuck, looking out the window with the rain come and go, the days come and go, the pain come and go, the memories of us that I just can't let go. The moment that we met, our eyes lined up, spying deep inside each other's souls. We both knew from the go we had to grab a hold of this train ride. It started like a roller coaster, now like a children's track, we moving slower. Hollering and screaming, fighting and believing The best we had already achieved I believe the moment that we accepted defeat Came when we stopped fiending for each other Stopped being there for each other But there is no ever that I would have ever put before you It's just that the proof I had for you wasn't the truth for you Now I'm sitting here so shattered, feeling like a fool Does it even matter? Do you remember? Kisses, the hugs, the moments that we were totally intoxicated with love. Do you remember? All of the promises, the memories, have you forgotten all of them that easily? Too many opportunities to recover from the troubles we were dealt with. Not enough energy or health to continue to fight the blows being thrown just below the belt. We use words to cut deep like a ginsu with issues remaining. We never talked and or rearranged behaviors and or actions. I'm thinking back to when I was backtracking, being attacked by your friends, haters, and pretends. Who was there with a shoulder to lend? Who held your hand when the last man left you stranded? Who took you from misery? To happiness by being the friend that made you mad at snowball fights in a snowstorm. Candles lit, formed in a heart with warm oil to start the massage, a collage of pictures, prayers uttered together, filled with wishes. Our best intentions never made it to reality. It's a sad reality, thinking of it really. Do you remember? All of the kisses, the hugs, the moments that we were totally intoxicated with love. Do you remember? Hey guys, Vanessa here from Pose. Are you tired of listening to the same old stations? Are you ready for a change? 
where there's something new coming your way. Fat Cat Radio, hosted by Twiz and White Peas. Listen to what you've been missing. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I am here. That was Twiz and White Beast with Do You Remember right here on the Sports Wire. And folks, you know what? You know what that song means? I know, guys, don't get your hopes up. I'm not talking about Sable coming on the show. What I'm talking about is the Connecticut Panthers. And uh, that means that I'm going to be talking about the Panthers this coming Sunday night, 7 o'clock, Falcon Field. You're reigning, defending undisputed two-time NFL Colonial Conference champions, uh, the Connecticut Panthers. They take on the Connecticut Chiefs and begin their their defending of their championship. It is the playoffs. It'll be the divisional round. The, it'll be a rematch from two weeks ago in that two weeks ago, it was also the Chiefs versus the Panthers that you heard live right here on the playoff uh, right here on Fat Cat Radio courtesy of the Sports Wire but that's right Panthers and Chiefs live this Sunday 7 p.m. Falcon Field tickets are just 10 bucks kids under 12 are free as always and if you're not able to make it you can listen to it live right here on Fat Cat Radio cuz we'll be going live around 6 or 6:15 with a pregame show now, we are working on getting to uh, every playoff game. Now, there may be some time we may not be able to get to it cost-wise uh, because, like I said, uh, fields don't have uh, internet. So I have to use the Verizon Jetpack, and that's 60 bucks a month. And, well, it's not always, <laughs> it's not always able to be done. Anyways, I will say this, um, if, and, and let me just actually go back to that, uh, go back to that, uh, uh graphic, but I'm actually going to put on now, um, the graphic of the playoffs, and, um, so that's what it is. The Pioneer Valley Knights will be going into Danbury to take on the Western Connecticut Militia, as obviously the Chiefs come into Meriden to take on the K Connecticut Panthers. Now, and this is in the Southern uh, Division. If uh, the Panthers win, they'll be going on. Now, the um, uh, now the Panthers, uh, if the Militia win over the Knights, which for pretty much they will, the Panthers will be going into Danbury to take on the Militia uh, on the weekend of the 17th to the 18th. If the Knights pull out an upset, which would be awesome. <laughs> if the Knights pull out an upset, which I don't think will happen, uh, the Knights will come to Meriden, to Falcon Field, to play. And then we go to the championship. Now, um, in the Northern Division, again, it's uh, the Southern Maine Raging Bulls are the number one seed. They're going to host the Rhode Island War Dogs. And then the um, North Shore Generals go into Boston to take on the Boston Bandits. And, uh, I apologize. It's a bus advantage going in, going into the North Shore, um, uh, going to the North Shore Generals home field for that game. Uh, if the uh, and then you know it looks as if Southern Maine may take it all. If it comes down to like Mark Welch, Coach Welch had said, if it comes down to the Bull, Raging Bulls and the Panthers, 
in the championship, there will be a coin toss as to who gets home field advantage. The past two seasons, it had been in Maine. He's hoping that it's in Meriden this time. If if we host the championship, it'll be October 24th, and uh, and it'll be uh, live right here on Fat Cat Radio because we will have it. Um, even if we have to go up to Maine for it, I'm hoping that we could figure it out and get to it so that we can be live on Fat Guy Radio for the championship. Um, but either way, just stay tuned. We will be live this coming Sunday, October 11th, here on Fat Guy Radio for the uh, game between the Panthers and the Chiefs. They played two weeks ago, and the game was uh, quite sloppy, actually, um, between the Panthers and the Chiefs um, in that a lot of dropped balls. A lot of dropped balls. Um, and it wasn't even raining out. <laughs> That's the sad part. Uh, they had Jimmy Bryant, at quarterback, um, who is normally a wide receiver. And uh, let's just hope that they get their running game together. Uh, Richard Snowden should be back at quarterback um, after resting his shoulder for two weeks. Obviously, they've been practicing and getting things together. So uh, let's just hope that everything works out well for uh, for them. Um, and uh, like I said, we'll be live. That's, that's all I can say. Um, I spoke with Lenny Murdo yesterday. He's looking forward to it. Um, next year. Now, now I don't want to, you know, diminish the importance of this playoff or these playoffs in the championship. Next year, we're going to be doing a whole lot more with the Panthers. We are going to be looking for more sponsors. So if you're in the Meriden, Connecticut area, and you want to sponsor the Connecticut Panthers, uh, definitely email me, sportswire at swe-ct.com, and we'll make it happen. If you want to play for the Panthers, uh, we actually had somebody who uh, messaged uh, the Panthers on Facebook and wanted to find out about playing for the Panthers. Excuse me. Playing for the Panthers. Um, I forwarded it to Coach Welch. Um, because obviously we're in the playoffs now, we're not accepting any player, players, but uh, come next season we will be. Um, and hopefully we'll be three-time defending national champions, which would be awesome. Um, so, uh, you know, next being that uh, uh, we will be looking for more sponsors. This way, every time there's a touchdown, it'll be brought to you by somebody. Um, you know, and it's not all about the money, but we want to make my goal, our goal here at Sportswire, and I've said this before, uh, when we were doing the whole, the, whole, the Hartford Whalers games, who have turned into the Colts, um, but my goal is to bring minor league to a major league level, and uh, part of that is is promoting and supporting your local semi-pro teams. We want to make it where the NEFL would be an official feeder system for uh, whether it be arena or NFL. That would be awesome. Could you imagine? Number one, that would be a lot more revenue dollars, more money for the teams. This way, the players wouldn't have to pay. They maybe maybe they may be able to get you know a little bit of money. Maybe get a stipend or something, um, and that would be great because then. You know the fields, the the fields would want them and give them a break on the price. And you know if you're seeing, let's say you're seeing the number one draft pick, and he's not ready for the NFL, so they send him to the NEFL. That well, that would be awesome. Uh, and you know whatever, or if it's a guy on on the decline of his career, you know you send him down to the NEFL, and he's playing. Or you know, if it's somebody that needs to play a few games just to get back into regular season shape for the NFL or arena or whatever, and, and they send them down to the NFL, that you know, let's 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 work together on that and and make that a reality. Um, and so that would be awesome. Uh, also, uh, news on New Britain, Connecticut. Obviously, we know the Rockcats are moving to Hartford to become the Hartford Yard Goats next year which is still the absolute worst team I've ever heard for any worst name I've ever heard for any team, the Yard Goats. What is a Yard Goat? All I think of is Daniel Bryan. Um, 
but I digress. Um, New Britain is officially getting an Atlantic League team. And what does that mean? Well, that means that the uh, New Britain Stadium will not be empty next year. We will be getting an arena, uh, uh, an Atlantic League team, which is the same league that the Bluefish are in. Uh, they still don't know whether it, it will be a uh, an expansion team or one of the uh, one of the teams that's currently there, but just relocating um, to New Britain. They're thinking maybe the Camden River Sharks will be coming up to New Britain or uh, an expansion team. I am going to get in touch with the Atlantic League office um, within the next couple of weeks and find out how to uh, throw in a bid for broadcasting rights for SWE, me, to get in there and uh, broadcast on, live on Fat Cat Radio. Um, exactly, live on Fat Cat Radio, the, uh, whatever the new, new Britain team is. Um, which would be absolutely awesome. So, you know, keep in mind for that. Um, and uh, definitely get ready to support a new team coming in uh, to New Britain. Because obviously I'm not going to be talking about the Yard Goats. Because I don't think that they're going to be any great team. I mean, they're still the AA affiliate of the Rockies. They're still in the Eastern League. But I, I just can't get behind a team called the Yard Goats. I can't. Um... Their, their, their mascot's going to be Daniel Bryan. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm going to get to my next song. It's uh, actually a singer I haven't played in quite a while. It's uh, Katie Perkins. Um, she is local from Connecticut, from New London. Um, it's called We Can Make It. Right here on the Sports Wire. <laughs> Give it. 
We're ready to prove them wrong. We can fight this hand in hand on our own. They say we want. And that was Katie Perkins right here on the Sports Wire with We Can Make It. Um, you know, I got to say this. Um, I, I I don't necessarily understand, or not that I don't understand it. I don't know why people do this. So, people who are friends with the Sports Wire host um, generic Facebook page, okay, um, they decide to tag the sports wire host uh, profile. Now, in my opinion, at least, when you tag somebody, that means you're with somebody. If you're, you know, at a park, if you're at a at a, a game or a field, you know, or a restaurant, you tag the person because that's who you're with. This these these people they tag you that they're not even with you. Okay, if if I want somebody to see a post, I will put their name either in the post or in the comment. Okay, and actually write the name out. I will not tag them and say I'm with them because I'm sorry, I'm not with you. And you know, I got into a argument, a, a discussion, a discussion slash argument with my son's mother actually, who decided that before my Facebook uh, account was canceled, that. Any time she would post a picture of my son, she would tag everybody in her family, whether they met my son or not, okay? And I, I tried to explain to her, no, you do not do that. For the, first, for, the, for, for the main reason, okay, I don't know who your family knows. I don't want my son's picture being all over the internet on people's timelines that do not know him. Now, obviously, you're going to tag myself, you know, my mother, your mother, whatever. the Your family are from around here that I know that, okay, you know, whatever. They're going to be uh, part of my son's life, or they are part of my son's life. But when you're tagging people that he's never met, okay, I don't know who they are. Okay, I don't know, you know, if if somebody on their list is a, a an actual child predator, okay? I don't want that happening. Um, she would tag me on the stupidest thing. There was somebody else that used to tag me on a video of the WWE or, or an old WWE video. Um, okay, and then now this place, uh, Zombies in Vegas, Agawam. Okay, now that's a pretty cool uh, concept, and I know it's, you know, for haunted houses and everything. Um... And, 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 you know, they're, they're at the Big E Festival or the Big E Fairgrounds to, uh, to do their thing and whatever. Okay, fine. That's awesome. But I'm not there. Do not tag me. Or uh, the Sportswire host is not there. Do not tag that profile or that account in your, uh, in your post. Um, you know, it's not there. It's like, you want me to see it? I'll see it on my timeline when you post it. But do not tag me. So I've been hiding everything and removing the tag, and um, and, and then you know, and I just actually posted. I said, "Stop tagging me in your posts," um, and because it, it does, it tends to get annoying. It really does. Um, there's a difference of like when Twism tags tags Sportswire host profile because you know what, we're all part of Fat Cat Radio. We're all part of Team Elite. You know, so yeah, okay, that's gonna happen. And that's good. And he doesn't actually say you're, he's with me. He puts me in the, or puts the, puts it in the um, uh, context of the post, the name. You know that that way. So um, that's how, how that's how it goes. All right. So um, you know, I, I just don't understand why people do that. You know, it's like you want somebody to see the pictures. Okay, fine. Send them to send it to them in a message. Um, 
you know, or, or, or just say, come look at my pictures. You know, that's it's ridiculous. Okay, um, so now we are going to move on, now that my other small rant is there, now we are going to move on to NXT TakeOver Respect. Last night on the WWE Network, it started at 9, ended at 11. I actually watched it from like 11.30 to 1.30. Um, um, I apologize, I'm actually texting somebody to, um, um, try to get the, uh, singer for the National Anthem for Sunday. Um, all right, so, uh. Uh, yeah, I watched it from 11.30 to 1.30 last night. It was actually a pretty awesome show. You know, I have to say, NXT has become the WWE's third brand. It was originally supposed to be there, you know, developmental, but you know what, They've re it's really taken a life of its own. Um, Triple H, Paul Levesque, whatever you want to call him, has done a tremendous job with NXT. And it's, and it's come out that Vince has absolutely no creative control over NXT, has no hand in creative at all with NXT. That's Triple H's baby. Um, and NXT is actually overtaking, in my opinion, the WWE. And that's simply because of the fact that, uh, you know, uh, there's there's really nothing stopping NXT. I think people are tired of the actual WWE, you know, the fact that it's stale. It's the same guys, you know, over and over. You know, you got John Cena... You got, uh, you know, Randy Orton, you got The Big Show, you know, guys who have been there for years, you know, and then obviously the NXT guys are being moved up there with Neville and, and Sami Zayn, and who was, hasn't been there, but Kevin Owens, uh, you know, Xavier Woods, uh, The Shield, you know, so they're finally moving up to the main roster, but NXT, you know what, quite honestly, I will say this, and I beat it from the bottom of my heart. NXT has the much better women's division. Um, Asuka, who, who, who has her name uh, spelled like Asuka, but Asuka, coming in from Japan, formerly known as Kana, uh, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. She had a match with Dana Brooks last night, and uh, awesome match. She came over from Japan. She was part of Shimmer. She was part of, uh, you know, I, I think IWGP Women or whatever, the New Japan. Um awesome female athlete, awesome women's wrestler, and I love the chance, you know, that last night was the first time in history that a women's match, number one, the, the women have actually competed in an Iron Woman match, okay? Um, it was uh, Bailey and Sasha Banks in the 30-minute Iron Woman match uh, for the women's ch NXT Women's Championship, and uh, it was the first time, it was the main event of the show. First time ever in WWE history that a women's match was the main event. Now, obviously, TNA had done it, has done it numerous times, but uh, WWE has never done it. Um, I don't know whether it's because they just don't respect women athletes or they don't think women can draw. The fact is, the women next year are much better than the women up on the main roster. Now, that's not taking anything from Charlotte or Becky, or Paige, or Sasha, but you got Bailey and Sasha Banks, you got Asuka, you got Dana Brooks, you have, uh, you know, Emma, you have a bunch of other women down in NXT that are just getting it on, and just blowing the roof off the house every single night, and you know what, if the Bella Twins want to be there, you know, they want to be divas, the diva revolution, let them be divas, Keep them on Total Tivas. Keep them out of the ring. You know, Alicia Fox, Cameron, Naomi, whatever, whoever. Keep them out of the ring. Because you know what? In my opinion, they need to get rid of the name Divas. I don't like it. It's women's wrestling. During the Iron Woman match last night, fans were chanting women's wrestling. Women's wrestling. Because that's what it is. And, uh... You know, the fact is, I don't like the Divas moniker. I, I, I just don't think that it's necessary. Um, 
Also last night, Samoa Joe and Finn Balor uh, teamed up to win the Dusty Rhodes Invitational Tag Tournament. Um, in the in the uh, finals, actually they, they fought twice last night because they had the two semifinal matches uh, and then the finals. Um, in the uh, semifinals, they ended up beating... Uh, who did they beat? Boy, now I'm drawing a blank. I know Rhino and Baron Corbin beat Jason Jordan and... Uh, 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 Grave, uh, Gable, uh, Jordan and Gable, and then, uh, I can't, you know what, I can't even remember who, uh, who, uh, Finn Balor and Samoa Joe beat in the, in the semifinals, but, uh, they ended up going on and beating Rhino and Baron Corbin, and, uh, it was actually a great, great time, you know, uh, great matchups. Uh, Balor and Samoa Joe worked very well together as a team, and um, you know I couldn't think of fitting two more two two other guys to do it. I can't wait to see Samoa Joe up on the main roster. Um, like I said, uh, if you put Samoa Joe, there's still time to set it up. Samoa Joe versus Brock Lesnar WrestleMania. I'm telling you that will just be awesome. I I would love to see that, and and you put that at WrestleMania in Dallas. That's what's going to sell out Cowboy Stadium or AT&T Stadium, whatever you want to call it. Um, Samoa Joe and Brock Lesnar, I don't think it's in the works at, as of press time. Now, on the 19th, which is 12 days or uh, 11 days from today, which is next Monday, not this coming Monday, the following Monday, it's going to end up being uh, Brock Lesnar's on is going to be on Stone Cold's podcast live on WWE Network. Um, that morning, obviously... I will SWE Sportswire will be live on that morning, but that night live on uh, the WWE Network after Monday Night Raw uh, from Dallas, Stone Cold Steve Austin will have Brock Lesnar on there. Part of his Go to Hell tour, um, ending with that coming that Sunday, um, Brock Lesnar against the Undertaker at Hell in a Cell. Uh, but going back to NXT Takeover last night, uh, you also saw Apollo Cruz against Tyler Breeze. A great match. I, I like them both. I you know I I tend if I don't know somebody that well I tend to go on uh, Wikipedia and uh, Apollo Cruz, formerly known as Yuha Nation, uh, and then Tyler Breeze, who is uh, been I I didn't realize Tyler Breeze had been with uh, NXT or WWE Del Developmental since 2012. I didn't I I honestly did not realize that and. Uh, the fact that he was he's been there so long and you know he's seen other people passing by like Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn and Finn Balor um, just amazing um, Kevin Nash was in attendance last night Charlotte Becky and uh, Stephanie McMahon were in attendance last night uh, even Hideo Tommy and Funaki were in attendance last night um, uh, for a uh, uh, NXT TakeOver Respect. Uh, definitely a great night, great matchups. Uh, awesome event. I recommend you check it out on the WWE Network. It's only $9.99 a month. Uh, the one thing I will say that's missing from NXT are uh, managers. Um, you know, they don't have anybody who's training to become like the next Paul Heyman or the next um, uh, Bobby Heenan. You know, they don't have any managers. I think managers are kind of like a lost art. Uh, once Paul Heyman leaves, you know, once Brock leaves with Paul Heyman, um, there will be no more managers. Um, I think managers are definitely a lost art. You know, Paul Bearer with The Undertaker and with Kane. Um, you know, obviously Bobby the Brain Heenan. Jimmy the Mouth South, uh, the Mouth South Jimmy Hart. Um, you know, you, you just had something there when it came to managers and that you don't have anymore. Um, they can get under your nerves. Like Xavier Woods, for example. Holy crap, I want to take that trombone and shove it right up his ass. Um, you know, but that's what he, he's like. You know, Jimmy Hart used to be with the megaphone. You want to clock him with it. Um, you know, but I think managers are definitely a lost art. Uh, all right, so we're going to get to our next song. It's AJ Jansen. I'm going to go to a different song this uh, this week that I normally play. It's a, uh, another song from her. It's called uh, Just Being With You Tonight. 
So that's AJ Jansen right here on the Sports Wire. Uh, it's called uh, Just Being With You Tonight. So uh, here it is. Right, we are the hottest sports show in entertainment. <laughs> the Sports Wire. A uh, big thank you to Baby Doll from the Sports Guru Show. Check her out uh, in uh, uh, in Louisiana and New Orleans. Um, WSLA. Like I said, they are actually on the radio down there. Um, so I, I do want to uh, touch on something. I, I kind of got into a little bit of a. Uh, Right now, while we were while during our last song, I had actually uh, posted a message about not tagging me. Uh, somebody had actually asked a question about the uh, Pioneer Valley Knights. Um, when did they win the Super Bowl? Well, obviously, we all know that the Pioneer Valley Knights 
could not win the Super Bowl because they're not in the NFL. They are in the NEFL. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, I, I just kind of point that out. I also asked, you know, please stop, um, uh, you know, please stop uh, posting me. So now I kind of feel bad. Uh, or tagging, tagging the uh, uh, Sportswire host. But uh, anyways, I'm going to just kind of give them a, a little shout out here. Zombies Invade Agawam. Um, they do a, a haunted graveyard, haunted house type of thing. Um, I guess... Um, I guess it's almost like a paintball type of thing. Um, uh, yeah, if you're on, if you're on, if you're watching on YouTube, um, I guess I'm looking right at my phone. Uh, Fridays and Saturdays in October, um, it's uh, actually a paintball type of thing. Uh, zombies have invaded Agawam. We need your help to eliminate the threat. Do you have what it takes to survive? Or will you become part of the zombie horde? Reserve your tickets now. Limited availability. Um, and I guess you could find them online. Zombies at Um You can get zombified uh, by Luna Design Studios. Um, it actually looks pretty cool. Um, I guess they're giving away tickets uh, for tomorrow night. Um... You know, the zombie apocalypse, the zombie type of... Zombies are actually becoming very big because of The Walking Dead. Now, I watched The Walking Dead. I really didn't get too far into the fear of The Walking Dead. Um, you know, it's like, I guess it, there were too many humans. <laughs> um, you know, but it's like, if I actually sat down to watch it, I think I fell asleep during the first one because I watched it too late at night. But um, I'll have to wait for it to come out on Netflix. And kind of catch up, which Netflix is just an awesome way to catch up on on shows. Um, anyways, as I was saying, the zombie apocalypse—it's just awesome. So I, I gave them a shout out. Zombies invade Aguam, and I'll let them know that I gave them the shout out on the on the sports wire. Um, I have no problem giving people shout outs. I just don't like you know the, the, the tagging all the time. I'm not there with you. You know, it's like yeah, I'll, I'll promote you. Don't get me wrong, but you know at my convenience. <laughs> um, and, uh, so definitely check them out. Zombies invade Agawam. All right. Um, so major league baseball. Okay. The playoffs are upon us. We had the two wild card games over the past two nights. And, uh, well, to say they were interesting is, uh, is an understatement. The first one Tuesday night, was uh, the Houston Astros going into Yankee Stadium to take on the New York Yankees, and they came out as three nothing winners. Um, they shut out the Yankees at home in the wild card game, so they go now on to play Kansas City, uh, and Toronto and Texas are going to start their games. Uh, actually, the games start today at three o'clock, I believe, three o'clock Eastern time with uh, Texas at Toronto, and then tonight it'll be Houston at. Kansas City. Uh, tomorrow, the National League Wild Card, the, the National League uh, Divisional Series starts. The National League Wild Card game was last night. It was uh, Cubs at Pirates, and the Cubs went in there, and Jake Arrieta just completely shut down the Pittsburgh Pirates, who had 98 wins, and um, 98 wins over the season, and uh, they got shut out. Four hit, um, second year in a row that they got shut out in four hit. Um, and, uh, um, uh, you know, so the Cubs who had 97 wins of these year, but uh, think about it, 97 and 98 wins were not enough to win the NL Central from the Cardinals. So the NL Central was just absolutely tough. So, uh, think about that. Um, so the, uh, Cubs and the Cubs will go on to face St. Louis, and then the Mets are going to end up playing, I believe, the Dodgers. Was it the Dodgers that clinched in the NL West? I believe it was. Um, it was the Dodgers, Dodgers, the Giants, but I think it was the Dodgers this year. So it'll be the Mets and the Dodgers. It'll be the Cubs and the Cardinals. Um, they start tomorrow night. Uh, it's probably tomorrow afternoon. Um, but, you know, any team can win it now. 
Uh, I firmly believe that. You know, I would love to see the Cubs win it. They're still looking for their first championship since 1908, which is an even longer drought than the Red Sox went went with. Um, so let's just hope that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to root for the Cubs. You know, yeah, I should be rooting for the Mets. Um, you know, which, again, they haven't won since 86. But the, the Cubs haven't won since 1908. 1908, that's 107 years since the Cubs have won the, Nash, the, the World Series championship. So, uh, let's, uh, I'm going for the Cubs. I'm going for the Cubs. All right, we're going to, uh, I, uh, we're going to go to our next two songs. We're going to go to our final two songs right now. And, uh, they're, they're, uh, remember last week I introduced you to Justin Calio. Um, it's his song, Love You Tonight. And then, uh, We've also got Jenna Murata with Rainy Day. So we'll go to uh, Justin Kalio first. And then we'll go to Jenna Murata. So here's Justin Kalio with Love You Tonight. <laughs> right here on the Sports Wire. Straight
All right, and that was Jenna Murata with Rainy Day right here on the Sports Wire. Again, Jenna Murata, Rainy Day. Uh, I tried to get her to sing the National Anthem this uh, Sunday. Unfortunately, she cannot. Um, she's sung it before and, um, you know, just couldn't do it. Uh, but that's okay because actually we're uh, looking at, you know, I talked to another friend of mine who's actually a music promoter and uh, she's going to help me find somebody. Okay, so uh, we're actually going to get to our final segment of the week. And that means only one thing. That is our dumb laws of the day. Our, yeah, dumb laws of the day. We're going down south to the Sunshine State of Florida. And here we go. In Florida, dumb laws. Florida accidentally banned all computers and smartphones in internet cafes. How did the hell did they do that? <laughs> it's an internet cafe. That's where you supposed to use computers and smartphones. I understand accidentally, but holy cow. Um, the term motor vehicle was revised to exclude swamp buggies to regulate the primary mode of transportation in the state. <laughs> swamp buggy is not a motor vehicle anymore. Um, this has been repealed. It is illegal for a doctor to ask a patient whether or not they own a gun. The state con constitution allows for freedom of speech, a trial by jury, and pregnant pigs to not be confined in cages. <laughs> oh, bother. Um, one may not commit any unnatural acts with another person. Um, unmarried couples may not commit lewd acts and live together in the same residence. Um, corrupting the public morals is defined as a nuisance and is declared a misdemeanor offense. Doors of all public buildings must open outwards. It is illegal to sell your children, really. Do they actually have to make that a law? It is illegal to sing in a public place while attired in a swimsuit. Well, okay, yeah, well, unfortunately that takes away the Miss America pageant. Um... Men may not be seen publicly in any kind of strapless gown. <laughs> Alrighty then. Having sexual relations with a porcupine is illegal. I don't know who would want to have sexual relations with a porcupine anyways. It is illegal to skateboard without a license. When having sex, only the missionary position is legal. You may not fart in a public place after 6 p.m. Ha! <laughs> Um, it is considered an offense to shower naked. Well, how are you supposed to wash yourself if you can't shower naked? Um, you are not allowed to break more than three dishes per day or chip the edges of more than four cups or saucers. Okay. Uh, women may be fined for falling asleep under a hairdryer, as can the salon, salon owner. Oral sex is illegal. Um... A special law prohibits unmarried women from parachuting on Sunday or shall risk arrest, fine, arrest, fine, and jailing. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, so let's see the city laws in Florida now. Oh, man. Um, oh, more dumb laws in Florida. You may not kiss your wife's breasts. That's crazy. Um, if an elephant is tied to a parking meter, or is left tied to a parking meter, the parking fee has to be paid just as it would for a vehicle. <laughs> uh, penalty for horse theft is death by hanging. That's got to be from the 1800s. Now we're going to sea laws in Florida. In Big Pine Key, it is illegal to molest a key deer. All right. In Broward County, persons may not be inappropriately attired who work at a hot dog stand. <laughs> what, what do they got to do inappropriately attired? Um, as long as you don't get the wrong hot dog in the boiler, I think you'll be okay. Um, in Cape Corral, it is against the city ordinance to hang your clothes outside on the clothesline. It, it is illegal to park a pickup truck in your driveway or in front of your house on the street. Well, what if you own a pickup truck? In Cape Corral City, a $50 fine will be levied on anyone who allows a couch to sit in their carport. <laughs> okay. Um... Oh, good gracious. Daytona Beach. The molestation of trash cans is banned. 
<laughs> oh, bother. Uh, maintaining a car on your property which is no longer in use is prohibited. Owning a flower pot with water in it that isn't capable of draining is considered a public nuisance. In Destin, Florida, it is illegal for, for an owner of a store to allow another person to pass out free ducklings in front of their store. It, Destin states that a cat that viciously chases passers-by is a bad cat. <laughs> uh, if you wish to go swimming in the ocean, get dressed in your hotel room. Torpedoes may not be set off in the city. <laughs> Does that really need to be in there? Uh, if you like to love, if you like to r love your to ride your bicycle in, in Denton, don't lean it up against a tree in a cemetery. It is illegal to drive over graves in a cemetery. Well, that's normal. Uh, if you notice an ice cream man attempting to sell his cold concoctions in a cemetery, call the police immediately. For that is illegal. Why would an ice cream man, first of all, try to sell anything in a cemetery? They're already cold. Um, in Hialeah, ambling and strolling is a misdemeanor. In Key West, chickens are considered a protected species. <laughs> we got more. We got more of that came from. In Miami Beach, skateboarding is not allowed at any police station. Persons face up to 30 days in jail for selling oranges on the sidewalk. Termite farms are not allowed within the city. No one may bring a pig with them to the beach. Sorry, Homer. No spider pig or hairy plopper. Uh, in Naples, neon signs are prohibited. In Palm Bay, persons may not tow a sled behind their vehicles. In Pensacola, citizens may not be caught downtown with without at least ten dollars on their person okay what if you're broke or poor or homeless you don't have money in Pensacola uh, uh, keep it going uh, it is illegal to roll a barrel on any street fines go up according to the contents of the barrel a woman can be fined only after death for being electrocuted in a bathtub because of using self-beautification utensils. So they're going to find someone after they get electrocuted to death by an accident. Oh, bother. Um, in Sanford, stage nudity is banned with the exception of bona fide theatrical performances. In Sarasota, if you hit a pedestrian, you are fined $78. Oh, that's not too bad. And then you may not catch crabs. Which crabs are they talking about? In Satellite Beach, uh, beer may not be sold between 2 a.m. Okay. Um, persons may not appear in public, clo in public clothed in liquid latex. All right. In Seaside, all houses must, ha must, must have white picket fences and full-width two-story porches. All righty. In Tampa... Women may not expose their breasts while performing topless dancing. Well, topless means they expose their breasts. Lap dances must be given at least six feet away from a patron. Well, then that's not considered a lap dance. <laughs> Folks, I can't, obviously you can't make this stuff up. Those are your dumb laws of the day from Florida. I, I, I am at a loss for words for some of those because, well... I get all those from dumblaws.com. I just, I, I don't know. I, I just can't, I don't know. I don't know if I don't know. I just, I, I just can't put into words how stupid some of those laws are. But folks, thank you for watching and or listening. Um, this has been a great show. Um, again, I am Vinny Apicella. Big Daddy Cool Vinny Apicella. Uh, the Sports Wire is here. Uh, thank you for our sponsors. Thank you for our musical guests. And, uh, well, have a great rest of the day. We'll see you on Monday.